Hello and welcome to Uberpad, India's first smart AV e-commerce store. Today everyone is used to the fact that video and audio are transmitted via HDMI cables. But did you know that it also provides additional data channels particularly for signal management? One of them is HDMI CEC protocol. This technology is present in most mid-range and premium TVs. So, if you want to know more about CEC and how you can make use of it, watch this video till the end. Before we get into it, please subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Now, let's dive in. What is HDMI CEC? CEC stands for Consumer Electronics Control. It is a bi-directional serial communication bus. It uses the AV-Link protocols to transfer control information to household appliances connected to each other by a SCART or HDMI wire. In the case of HDMI CEC, it can combine up to 10 compatible devices and ensure their full synchronization. It is mostly used in TVs, home theaters, game consoles, AV amplifiers and personal computers etc. In simple words, it allows you to control multiple devices using a single remote control and automate many functions. So how does it work and what can it be used for? If both the TV and the devices connected to it support HDMI CEC, the following options become available. 1. Combined switching on and off of several devices. For example, the user turns on or off the game console or TV box, then subsequently these devices turn on or off the TV and vice versa. 2. Code management. With the TV kept turned on, if the console was launched with a gamepad, the TV will automatically switch to the desired video input that is either of the HDMI sources 1, 2, 3 or 4. And similarly, if you are using your gaming console and midway you wirelessly cast content using Chromecast, the Chromecast device connected to the TV will sense the incoming signal and force the TV to switch to the HDMI input. 3. General control of devices. For example, the volume buttons on the player's remote control control the volume of the TV. And if a sound bar is connected, the display's remote controls its volume, not the built-in speaker. In case of the most complete implementation of this function, the TV remote should be fully able to control media player and other CEC compatible devices. The functionality and protocol of HDMI CEC is the same for all manufacturers. However, the names are different for each of the manufacturer. Functions similar to HDMI CEC from some popular brands are as follows. Samsung's AnyNet Plus, Sony's Bravia Sync, LG's SimpLink and Panasonic's Viera Link to name a few. Here are the benefits of HDMI CEC. Unified and simple operation using one remote control. Lesser remote control clutter. Automatic switching of display devices in multi-input setups. Finally, CEC is also required to use HDMI audio return channel or the ARC functionality. Now, let's look at some of the shortcomings of HDMI CEC. You may face some compatibility issues among different brands of equipment. For example, Samsung's AnyNet may not be fully compatible with LG SimpLink and vice versa. You may have access to only a limited and basic control parameters such as on and off, volume and play pause to name a few. For accessing advanced parameters and settings, the device's original remote control will ultimately be required. We hope this video has helped you understand HDMI CEC better. If you need any assistance in developing your entertainment setup, feel free to get in touch with Uberpad support. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media for more such interesting and informational videos. Thank you for watching.